ways to build new worlds. And God has always given us that, and has given us voices to guide us. And the memory of our mistakes to warn us. Maggie, you and I will remember in peacetime all the resolves that were so clear to us in the days of war. We've come a long ways. We've learned. We're learning. And the steps of our journey are marked for us here. Sometimes, Maggie, out there in the war, sitting all night on a hill, I try to remember some of the words of these books, and parts of them, and phrases would come back to me. And after a while, I, I used to give names to the hours of the night. Nine o'clock, I used to call Spinoza. Where is it? After experience had taught me, the common occurrence of daily life was vain and futile. And I saw that all the objects of my desire and fear were in themselves neither good nor bad, save insofar as the mind was affected. I at length determined to search out whether there was something truly good and communicable to man. Then tell me, O Christ, how will a man choose the ruler that shall rule over him? Will he not choose a man who has first established order in himself? Knowing that any decision that springs from anger or pride or vanity can be multiplied a thousandfold in its effects on the citizens. This good estate of the mind possesses its objects and an energy we call divine. This we immortals have occasionally, and it is with this energy that is pleasantest and best. And God has it always. It is wonderful in us, but in him, how much more wonderful. Dreams surely are difficult, confusing, but not everything in them comes to pass for mankind. For fleeting dreams come from two gates, one of horn and the other of ivory. Those that pass through the gate of sword and ivory are deceptive, bringing tidings which come to naught. But those that hail from the gate of polished horn bring true results when a mortal sees them. Now there are some things we all know. We just don't take them out and look at them all the time. We all know that something is eternal. And it ain't houses and it ain't names. And it ain't earth and it ain't even the stars. We all know deep in our bones that something is eternal. And that something is to do with human beings. All the greatest people in the world have been telling us this for 5,000 years. But yet we'd be surprised how many people have always really been told of this. There is something way down deep that is eternal about every. created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was waste and void, and the darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Lord said, Let there be light, and there was light. <laughs> 